Good morning, Creator. How are you doing today? It's a wonderful Tuesday here in Omaha. Still kind of cloudy. Haven't seen the sun much, but we're hoping for a very creative day today. So thanks for joining me and let's get started. Welcome. I'm Robin Schmidt with Odessa Rose Creates. I am an independent chakra tour designer which is the most awesome DIY home decor company out there. Um, so as a designer, I had the opportunity to sell you our wonderful product, Chakra Tours Reusable Silk Screen Transfers. So where you see the white, that is actually a silk screen. So we squeegee over chalk paste or inks uh, onto our surfaces. That can be boards, signs, chalkboards, um, glass, any smooth surface, um, including clothing or fabrics, but we use our ink on. So that's what basically Chalk Tour is. So I'd like you to visit my website. You can see all the wonderful products and great design ideas. Uh, if you look at the catalogs, You'll see um, ideas to do with our transfers and of course I like to put my own spin on our transfers and create my own designs which is the great thing about uh, working with Chalk Couture. Um, you get to create and mix transfers and create your own craft. So whether you are a customer of mine or maybe you want to become a designer yourself, you can join my team. Another awesome way to uh, get that product in your home every month is to join the club, Club Couture. So if you go to the website, chocouture.com slash Odessa Rose, you can click on shop or on catalog to check out all the products out. You can look up what it is to become a Club Couture member, a monthly subscription service that comes to your house with a uh, unique transfer just for our club members and designers. Um, also, you can check out Become a Designer and you can learn all about becoming a Chalk Couture designer like myself. So go check that all out. It's right here, chalkcouture.com slash Rose. I believe I have a link on my, uh, on my live here, so you can just click on that if you see that. So today, I'm kind of combining a little winter and a little warm hearts for Valentine's. Um, I got this snowman at the hobby store. Actually, I bought this one last year, but um, I bought a couple of them. And one I had already done with some paper, and I believe I sold it. I can't find it in my house. I must have sold it. Maybe my sister bought it. I'm not sure. Um, but today, we're going to use one of our new uh, winter warm-up transfers, and then one of our current um, cold hands warm heart transfer just the sentiment we're not going to use the mittens and we're going to make some hearts out of this on watercolor paper so let's get started say hi if you're watching hello hello we got some people on awesome say hi say hi everyone's being quiet I like someone to talk to, so say hi. Let's set that over there. Um, so let's just make the hearts. We're going to do that on watercolor paper, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to bring in the snowman after we get our hearts made. So let's set this guy down for a bit. Um, and this transfer we won't need right now. So this is called Heart Patterns. Um, these are to cut apart and also to use on our wood cutout set is on my site, chocotour.com slash Odessa Rose. You can go to surfaces and there's wood cutouts that these hearts fit perfectly on. It's the same shape as these. Um, I don't have any yet, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> but they are coming but we're gonna chalk the same pattern on watercolor paper today and I feel like I got a really good tickle in my throat which can be annoying 
We're also going to do this one too. I'm just going to kind of cut around it like that. Um, I'm going to just pull out a whole sheet here out of the tablet. Now, this is the first time I ever bought watercolor paper. I got it at the hobby store. Um, there's so many choices and I didn't know what to buy. This one seems to work fine. It's 140 pound weight. It says cold press. I know there's different, I, think there's, I don't know what they call it, hot press, warm press, I don't know. But I know there's different presses and I don't really know what that means. I was told once, but of course my brain didn't retain it. <laughs> and I just find it easier to cut these out versus trying to tear it. Okay, so we got a sheet of old watercolor paper. And get this, this, I don't have much of it left. Maybe two or three sheets. Let's take our heart transfers out. Hi, say hi Donna, hi Karen, Carla, Kim, Carol, Terry, Tony, Lee, or Lee, Denise, Kim, Vicki, Laura, Sandra, Vivian. Vivian's my granddaughter's name. All right, let's cut these apart. Now, this is a brand new transfer, so we know they are going to be very, very sticky. And putting these on paper, we definitely gonna have to fuzz them a lot, put a lot of fuzz on the back, because the back of these are a sticker, basically. And you know what happens when you put a sticker on paper. Yep. So we need to put it more towards like a post-it note tackiness. So we have to put some fuzz on it so it's not so sticky. Um, and we need to pick out some colors. I don't want a, a whole lot of red. I don't know why. I guess because there's not a lot of red in my, if I'm going to put this in my house, even though it's Valentine's. Uh, I can visualize it in different color schemes. I did bring out some red twines and ribbons, but um, I do like that peachy and uh, rustic brown colors that are very popular right now. Creams, browns, that's a fun color scheme too. So if I went that route, I might go with a pink grapefruit, peachy, um, even marvelous, dreamsicle, these kind of fun, soft, subtle shades. And then if I was going to throw in a punch of, uh, you can even do peony. I got lots of cool colors in those. I don't even belong in there. Sand. Coral might be a little bright. Um, and then for my touch of red, if I want something really deep, like even this shimmer red, or this was called a brick color. This is an old color. I hope it's still good. And actually, I, I kind of recreate it by adding a little brown into some red. And that might look really pretty with this. Kind of a red, reddish brown color, brick color, I call it. Um, so I'm going to take out my two shimmers. I have the original red shimmer and the um, shimmer crimson. Guava. So we have lots of colors to work with. Let's see what we got. See them here. Put them in the rainbow. Sorta. Sorta kinda. And then our reds. Okay, 
so this is my color palette. That's a lot of colors. Nine, and I may not use them all, but I'm gonna open them all up and then I can get to them easily, quickly. Hopefully they're all still good. I haven't used some of them in a long time. I could have prepped this ahead of time, but I had to sand down my snowman because he was really rough. So I took him out to the shop and used my little mini sander on it. Got him a little bit smoother so I can chalk directly onto the snowman. are so good on these pastes. This is a little thick. Just add water to your chalk paste if it gets starts to get thick and you always if you're not going to use that color very often um, before you put it away maybe spritz a little water in it before you do or and it I'm not very good at this but if you once a month or so um, go through your paste and make sure they are still hydrated really well or if they need to be rehydrated before they turn hard, hard as a brick. <laughs> and then you can't do much with it after that. We'll mix it up. These colors all pretty together. Delicious. Yesterday I finished off that piece. Um, hopefully you've seen the photo photos of it. Um, kind of made it into a look like a dream catcher. And that was kind of fun. And people are asking how I did that. Basically, I took a piece of twine and then just looped on strings of ribbon or yarn just like as if you were making a garland, and then I just hot glued it to the back of the board in the shape of the circle. Just followed the shape. So it was pretty easy. All right, let's uh, get something wet there. Let's get these fuzzed. Some Valentines. They're not overly sticky, which is nice. I almost feel like trimming this down, all this extra. Um, Maybe you're just not going to need quite all of that. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> trim these down like that. Less transfer to stick on my paper and make a mess. I'll just trim it down. All right, we need all that. 
that extra stuff on there. Do some more fuzzing. That feels better. Try to conserve my paper as much as possible. So Try to even do a kind of an ombre effect on this one. Um, I've never done ombre on paper with just chalk, so um, another thing about chalking on watercolor paper, if if this would get bent later on, the paper, it can crack the chalk paste because it's just sitting on top. If you don't, if you're worried about that, then you might want to use your inks, your chalk couture inks, because um, that would absorb more into the paper and not leave that film of chalk on on your paper. So, if you are worried about them getting bent up or whatever, then you might want to rethink your idea of that. So, let's. See. Let me pick out some colors there. And I'm just going to kind of lay some across the top. This here, what is this? Modulus. It's kind of chunky. Chunks of chalk in it. But usually they will smooth out with the squeegee. I'm just going to use my finger <laughs> to kind of mix these in together. I'm going to change fingers as I come down. I'm just kind of spreading it out and then back up here I'm going to mix the two colors. So they kind of ombre together. And then I'm going to bring in this and find another finger here. This is when the fun little finger painting comes in. Now, you may want to grab a paper towel. We're going to skim this down. And you want to wipe it off at the end so you're not mixing your colors back up on the top again. So just kind of wipe it off. And kind of check your ombre, see if you need to blend it a little bit more in some areas. I'm going to peel that up. Does that not look really cool? Do, do, do. Isn't that awesome? So artsy. Artsy. And I got a really messy fingers now. I'm gonna get me a wipe. I am one person say hello. There's 27 people watching. 
At least I'm not seeing it. If you are, say hi. It's not coming on. It just says who's watching. Can you hear me? <laughs> say hello. Say hello. I'm not seeing your comments if you are talking to me. Okay, so we have one done. I'm just kind of letting that dry. Let's do another one. Do this X and O's. I think I can get that over here. Let's just dry this real quick. Don't want to mess it up. So we're going to cut these hearts out when we're done chalking them on this watercolor paper. And we got to fuzz this one too. So I'm just laying it sticky side up. I'm going to lay my towel on it a few times. And that's because we are putting the sticker on paper so we don't want it to stick too much to the paper and ruin it so we gotta add a little bit of fuzz on the back so it's not so sticky and usually we do this almost on any brand new transfer um, no matter what surface you're going to put it on unless you are going to put it on fabric and do some inking um, you don't really need to fuzz it then X's and O's. And I might just do this in a solid color. I might do this in uh, guava. A little squeegee. Load it up the squeegee, spread it over the silk screen. Make sure you have all the areas filled in. Wherever you see the white, make sure it's covered. And then you want to skim it down to a nice thin coat. And try not to have any squeegee lines where your squeegee has pushed. You want to get it nice and smooth because it'll show up on your print if you don't. Okay, so we have this one now. So our silk screens are reusable. I will wash it and reuse them again and again. So we're getting these colors here. This will be fun to do each color, each uh, outline in a different color. So we need three colors. And it may take a little bit longer because we have to do each color. But it'll be a really cool effect when we're done. I'm still not seeing any comments. I'm sorry if you are commenting. I am not seeing them. So, sorry. But, if you're just joining, um, we're going to be cutting these hearts out and I'm going to show you something fun to do with them. So this is just one part of the project. I 
bit. Should be able to. Don't want to waste my paper. All right, let's see. Let's bring in that one. I'm liking the peachy tones. I'm liking these tones here. I would just uh, these three. I'll put the dark in the middle, the uh, glitter crimson, shimmer crimson. Also, because the shimmers take longer to dry, so I think having that in the middle is a good thing. So I hope they don't dry up on me as fast. Since it's such a skinny little area here, I can just go right along with this little tip of the multi-tool and just get that in there real quick. Right there. When I get done with the hearts, I'm going to go out and come back in on my iPad to see if I can see any comments. Because I am not seeing them. So please comment so I know that there are comments on them. Yeah, this multi-tool is working perfectly. You can fill this in pretty quickly. You want it to work quickly because chalk paste dries fast and if it dries in your silk screen it'll stay in your silk screen it won't go onto your surface so that's why you need to work quickly dry and hopefully it'll come off. All right. It's dry. At least it was the same color <laughs> that flipped on there. this one add our fuzz so I don't know I just don't understand what's coming up Got out of Facebook and came back in, and there they were. 
I knew you all were saying hi to me. I knew you were. <laughs> you wouldn't just leave me out here hanging, would ya? Lordy. Alright. This is this one looks too cool. I'm gonna have to come down here. Alright. Let's pick another color. I'm picking kind of this uh Maybe we'll do some pinks and do different on this one. I wanted it more of a definite line between. to do the love you and I will just um, trim around it like I'm going to trim around these guys so we'll have five hearts all right so good morning good morning I can see you hello hello Kimberly and Katie and Joanne and Roxanne and Kim, two Kims, Gail, Susan, Carol, Joanne, Vicki. If you're just joining, you have no idea why I'm doing this. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. I didn't really explain it much in the beginning, so you will see here shortly. This one I think I'm going to do in the red sparkle. I always go over it a few times with this shimmer paste because it takes a little, little bit more effort for it to go into the silk screen. So, kind of go in different directions. Skim it down. Put your extra back in your jar. Dry and gotta cut them out. Here's where I had that. 
where my uh, stir stick fell onto my heart. And luckily it was the same color, but I got big blobs of paste on it. So I'm going to try to scrape them off the best I can. I could always re, uh, redo my heart, but I'm not going to be that picky. It's good enough. Scissors. Maybe. I'm gonna cut these out real quick. I like to leave a little bit of an edge or a border around them. Not cutting right on the chalk, but just oh, like an eighth of an inch out. Leave like a border. Okay. I think this is going to be really cute. We'll find out. But you guys sit here and watch me cut. Sorry. Number one. Doesn't cutting uh, just bring you back to grade school? <laughs> And I love watching my kids and my grandkids learn to cut. It's so funny. And they're so amazed by it. When they first learn to cut. Get rid of that. I like using these little scissors as I can get into these smaller areas better. Anybody else crafting today? Let me know. So this one I'm just going to cut around it about the same distance from the main part of the heart. And if you are crafting today, what are you doing? Let me know. Working on some Christmas. All right, two more to go. Two more to go. Definitely could do these in the more traditional Valentine colors, but really the trending color is the peachy, almost brownish uh, colors. Not just for Valentine, but I mean in home decor. Not necessarily home decor, but even like, yeah, home decor, I guess. Especially like in nurseries or more of that mid-century modern 
style. what they're doing today unless I'm not seeing the comments again I see old comments we're on the home stretch boom all right cool now, we got to put all this paste away because I don't want any more accidents, right? Let's just pile everything up here. I didn't quite use all of them, and that's all right. I wasn't planning on using all of them, or I didn't figure I would use all the colors. But I like seeing my options. Oops. Put a little water in that one. down the sides insides of your jars and uh, if you want on the dry side put a little squirt of water in it before you shut it up Sorry, you have to watch all this. We're getting there. Take a break. It's time to go to the bathroom. Go grab that cup of coffee. I am not a coffee drinker. I even owned a coffee shop and I did not drink coffee. Crazy as that seems. Last one. All right. Now we can move all this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to wipe this down. It's pretty messy. Someone give me a comment, because I haven't seen any new comments, and I really think I'm going to have to go back out and come back in. Okay. Although that was fun, I should say that wasn't fun, that was fun. Here's our snowman. And then I added, now this came from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year, although I did see some of them um, there again this year. I don't know if they still have any. I'm going to go back out again. Yep, they're not staying. My cup 
comments are not coming back up. So, so frustrating. You slept late. I got up early today, Gail. I didn't want to. Came to Whataburger for a biscuit. Decided to sit here in my car to eat and watch. Oh, that's funny. We don't have Whataburgers. But when we went on, we went um, on a car trip down. Took my sister and her husband and I and my husband. Took our parents, my mom and dad. And we went down to Waco. To, you know, Magnolia. And we went to, in Oklahoma, and we went to... Uh, what's her face's store in Oklahoma? Oh my gosh, can't think of her name. Anyway, uh, we saw Whataburgers down there, and we went to one just because you know we had to check it out. So I got the snowman, and I did sand it down. It was really rough. I did just a little bit because two things we're going to do here. So I added these upholstery tacks. You can just buy them at, I think I got these at Hobby Lobby also, or Michael's. Anyway, they're upholstery tack. They're actually like a little nail on the end. So I hammered them in there. And we're going to string some string randomly across, kind of like string art. And then we're going to tuck these hearts down in there, and these strings are going to hold them on, okay? I'm going to tuck them in, and I'm hoping to put cold hands, warm heart on here. So, get it? It's a cold snowman, but he has a warm heart. <laughs> okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, um, I, was, I got out some different twines. I have black. I don't think I want to do black now. Um, I have red, but I don't think it's the right kind of red. I have this pink, but really I think I'm going to go with the natural twine so the hearts show up really well behind it. So, but if you were doing your traditional Valentine colors, you know, you could go that. I just think that's just a little bright for this rustic snowman, which is why I went with the, the string because I think that's going to look good with these hearts. So I'm just going to tie it on. I'm not going to get super fancy. Maybe put a little knot on it. I've never done this before. I just dreamt it up. And I think I'm just going to kind of like string art. Just string it around. Just thought it'd be kind of fun. And I probably should do it somewhat loose so the hearts can fit in there. I almost feel I need another one right there. So maybe I will hammer in another one. I didn't know for sure this could get loud. I have my little hammer in there. Put one right in the middle. I didn't. Obviously, you can see I didn't put them, I mean, I left them out a little bit. So where was I? Right there. That looks pretty good. So let's cut this off. And then I'm going to wrap it again. I'll tie it on. So Gail, what's on your biscuit? Egg and bacon or? There, we have a little pocket, okay? Isn't that cute? I'm gonna tuck in our little hearts. And I don't even care if they kinda stick out. Stick up. That. 
was kind of thinking. I'll do the love one on the very last. Alright. Can I go I want to be able to see the heart shapes. Probably want to see more of the strings, so I'm going to bring this one back out a little bit. Just going to fiddle with it a little bit here. See how I want to do it. You get the idea. Cold hands, warm heart. Unless I um, did each word individually, which I could do cold, cold hands, warm heart on there. Or I could just leave them like that. They're just cute. I also thought you could, um, you know, do a ribbon scarf or something, or tie a ribbon down here. Gotta fiddle with it a little bit more. So if I have to go back out, let me see. It's just my not working like I want it to. Get rid of that. Come back in. You don't need to have heart. Oh, cold hands, warm, and then just leave it. Karen, Karen is that what you're thinking? Ooh. That's an idea. Sausage on a jalapeno cheddar biscuit. Oh, that sounds delicious. It is a Texas thing. My grandson moved to Virginia, and Whataburger is their first stop when he comes to visit. I believe that. A lot of those those Texans love their Whataburgers. We didn't quite get it, but you know, it was a good burger. <laughs> okay. Cold hands. Or should I just leave them? You can't, you, you can't get warm heart unless you break the words of, until you go clear down here. Cold hands, warm, and then not put the word heart on. That was Karen's idea. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to put the backer on it so it's not sticking all over, all over my hearts. on there. We got tons of junk. I'm not going to mess with nothing. Alright. And I don't want this like screaming at me. So I might do it even in this kind of a mousy brown color because I want the color focus to be here and I want this part to be pretty subtle. So, um, maybe like in Storm, something. kind of need that mousy gray brown color. It would be like this color. that color one time. Let's see if I can still have it right here. Let's see if it's still good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Give this a mix. That's pretty thick. 
Yes, Reed Drummond, Pioneer Woman. Thank you. We went there. That's where I live. Where do you live, Carol? Carol, you're in, from Texas, right? Or are you from Oklahoma? I forget. Joanne Gaines. Yes, we went there. That would be um, in 2018. 2018, I think, is when we went. In August or September. Maybe we went in September. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back out again. Very close to Waco. Thank you. I have to go out of Facebook and come back in to see the new comments. Yeah, just cold hands, warm. Gotcha, Karen. That's a good idea. That's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to do it in this brown. We'll see. I can always go over it again if I don't like it. The warm, pretty close to the hearts. <coughs> Try to get it, get it centered. So this is the color I mixed a while back. Got warm. I was blowing it on the um, chalk because it's Maybe I wanted a little thicker because it kind of did some bleeding. And that's because the surface is pretty uneven because it's of the wood. But you can kind of see where it bled on the end a little bit. But that's because of the grain of the wood. So I'm just trying to make my face a little thicker. So I have a nice print for the rest of it. get cold hands across it. That'll be cute. Something like that. So I'm get stuck really well because I'm trying not to have any bleed throughs. 
kind of hard to do on rough wood. Especially with small, delicate print or a font. Sometimes it's fun to work with um, your frame color or your um, an, an under color. Can't explain. And then it looks like maybe it's almost uh, cut out because the same color is coming through. So it looks. I don't want to say. Like it's cut out. Now, I think we need to like decorate his hat or something up here. We could do the scarf, but I think it just puts everything down here. So I think if we um, do something cute up here. That is what we need to do. But he's looking really cute so far. Can you see him? I'll hold him up. So he's got a pocket full of hearts. Isn't that cute? Put his ears up down so we can see his head. So I think if we decorate up here, would be cute. I'm trying to think what I have. I think I do some kind of a little heart maybe in a band. I need a moment. Give me a moment. I just need to think this through. I'm pretty sure I have wooden hearts somewhere. The question is where did I put them? We do have a snowflake, but we don't want to do snow. We're, we're focusing on hearts. I know I have. I'm pretty sure I have hearts somewhere. This is kind of all Christmas stuff. I can always make one out of paper, I guess. Chop another one. Have some little hearts transfers. Just gotta find them. Oop. Here they are. Homespun hearts. I don't know if they are current or not, but let's grab a piece of paper. Definitely want to do it in the red shimmer again. Crimson shimmer. Yeah, I think one of those two will be right there. Probably this one because it kind of is the same thing. Looks like I've never used this one before. It's not overly sticky so I'm just gonna stick it on there.
see it up there. Sorry, I always have to go back out of Facebook and back in to see any current comments, so sorry about that. You're loving it, Heidi. Absolutely adorable. Thank you. Cold hands fits on the brim of his hat. Oh, too late. And it didn't. Really, because of the... But, I like it down there. We're going to decorate his hat a little bit. And then... Uh, my little shimmy back out. I'll make a band on his hat probably and with a little bow or something. I'm glad that we went ahead and chopped instead of looking for or finding a wooden heart because I think this is going to be cute. Okay, so let's. I'm going to get out my um, borders probably. And then we'll find a fun border to use. For his band. I like to keep it handy. The lacy one would be, if there was lacy stuff down here, that would be really cute. with this is from the holiday borders what do they call it um, seasonal borders I'm just going to use this one right here Transfer is hardly sticky, but it gets the job done.
almost tempted to do another row of it, like make it twice as thick. Doesn't want to stick. I wore this guy out. I need to hold it down. Go back out and come back in. Put some jute around it and tuck in the heart. Good idea. I think I'm going to make a bow with some jute. And make a little uh, bow under it. I don't want to be overly overdo it. I want it kind of simple. stuff. It's really cute. See it's all like frayed out. Don't have cute on there. See if any of that can see it. I think I'll do that. I do have my hot glue gun on, so that's good. Let it cool down a little bit before I attach the heart. Turn out cute. I'm gonna just fray that on purpose. I think he's done. She, he, whatever. 
Stupid Facebook. So cute. Hold them down here so you can see them. So you can see it there. Adorable. Fun. guys thanks for joining me if you're just joining I track these on watercolor paper the hearts including this little heart and then I use the cold hands warm and the lily I think it was Karen's idea to not put the word heart on there fun thanks for joining guys go create today and I'll talk with you later. Bye.